I am ex digital science of Kendri Vidyalaya Sangathan and I was posted in Kendri Vidyalaya, Lucknow region. Uh, today I am going to teach you the lesson 1 for class 10. The name of the lesson is chemical reaction and equation. As all of you know and you have learned in lower classes, different type of changes. All of you know that the, among these changes, the two ten changes are very important. First is physical changes and another is chemical changes. As you know, the what is physical changes? Physical changes means the changes in which the no new substances form. Only the shape, size, color, texture, etc. is changed in the substance. No new substance is formed. That type of changes is known as physical changes. For example, the tearing of the paper. If you tear the paper, paper will not uh, change its property. Only the uh, size of the paper is changed. That is why it is physical change. Another example is that the melting of wax. All of you know that when we melt the wax, it will convert into the solid, into the liquid. But no new substance is formed. After the formation of the liquid, it is also the wax. No chemical uh, character of this wax is changed. That type of changes, so many examples we can see in our daily life in which we see the physical changes. Another type of changes that we know that is known as the chemical changes. All of you know that digestion of food, cooking of the food, rusting of iron, this type of changes which we see in our daily life, ripening of the fruit, these type of changes are known as the chemical changes. Why these type of changes are known as chemical changes? Because these changes are totally new substances form. For example, all of you know that this uh, rusting of iron. If you see the rusting of iron, you will see that if we put the uh, iron in the atmosphere and moisture is there and you will see and air and moisture is available you will see that the iron will co covered with a red substance after three or four days this red substance is known as the rust and it is actually the uh, oxide of the iron because in this the new substance is formed that is why it is chemical changes so many other example all of you know that the formation of the curd all of you know that when the milk convert into the curd is totally its taste is changed and new substances form so so many examples you can see in your daily life and where we can see the different type of the chemical changes digestion of food digestion of food all of you know the food which we take in our uh, in one uh, which form after digestion it will convert again, uh, into the another type of the substances this is also the example so many changes you can see in your book you can see the different type of the chemical changes. Milk is left at the room temperature during the summer. Then second is an iron tawa or pan and nail is left exposed to the humid atmosphere. Third is the grapes get fermented. Fourth one is the food is cooked. Fifth is the food gets digested in our body. And the next is the we respire. All of you know that respiration is also, all of you know that respiration is also a type of the chemical reaction. As you have learned in lower classes about the respiration. We will discuss it again in the um, next part of the lesson. Okay, now we come to the chemical changes. These chemical changes are also known as chemical reaction. So many reaction you can see in um, laboratory also where we can see that these are the chemical changes. Some activities you can see in the um, which we can do in the laboratories or in your classroom which say that it is a chemical changes. Let us see the activity 1.1 in your book. The burning of magnesium. As you see in the book that this activity is given, in this we, if we take the magnesium and we burn it, and we burn it, we heat it, we will see that after some time, suppose we take the, you see the um, uh, diagram in the book, you see that we take the, all of you know that magnesium is in the form of ribbon. When we burn this, burn it, it will burn with 
white flame and a white powder is is formed you see this white powder is totally different from element magnesium so we can say that it is a chemical reaction or chemical change it is a chemi chemical change another example you can see in your book that this activity two activity 2 take the if we take the a test tube and we put the some lead nitrate lead nitrate solution in a test tube and we pour the potassium iodide we take the another test tube and we pour the potassium iodide solution when we pour this solution in the this lead nitrate solution we will see that the color change color change in the test tube what will be the color you will discuss later on in the next part of the lesson color change because here the color is change so that it is a chemical reaction it is called the chemical third activity which is given in your book activity 3 if you take a test tube it is very common you have done in lower classes also and we put the here the sulfuric acid or any acid either sulfuric acid acid Uh, and we put the one zinc granule zinc granule you can see that when we put the zinc granule in this sulfuric acid solution the bubbles start to come out these bubbles the gas of hydrogen hydrogen gas is there and when if we bring the if we bring the if we bring the the burning splinter near the mouth of the mouth of the test tube we will see this gas burn with pop sound and the this you can see that the the substance which is form it is totally new substance is form that is why it is a chemical change you can say it is a chemical change it is also called the chemical reaction this chemical reaction first you should know that the what is chemical reaction the chemical reaction are the process in which the new substances are formed with the new properties these are known as the chemical reaction you have learned about the chemical some example of chemical reaction already in uh, if we see the chemical reaction you see that in the chemical reaction no new substances are formed means the atoms which take part of the elements which take part in a chemical reaction they may never never change we cannot change the atom of the element which take part in a chemical reaction only the rearrangement of the atoms take place in a chemical reaction you have learned in uh, class 9 about the chemical bonding actually what happened in the chemical reaction the old bond which are present in the uh, elements uh, break down and form the new bonds by the method of rearrangement this is known as chemical reaction uh, if we see the chemical reaction you see that the some substances elements take part in a um, chemical reactions and some new substances are formed the definition of the chemical reaction that i have already written you can note down it okay if you see that in a chemical reaction some substances or elements take part in the reaction these are known as reactants and after the reaction the new substances are formed these are known as product 
it means the two thing elements take part in the reaction these are known as reactants and after the reaction the new substances are formed is are known as product it means the two things are there reactants and product and this reactants and products um in between these two the one arrow sign is there which shows that the new substance are <coughs> formed in the right side and the the substances which are already present in the reaction is that uh, present in the uh, left side in the reaction for example all of you know that when the magnesium reacts with the oxygen and we heat it the, it reacts with the oxygen and it form the magnesium oxide this magnesium oxide is a product and this magnesium and oxygen are the reactants 